welcome to our Con Ed session. This session we're going to be covering our airbag systems using our, our air cart. We're going to cover our high pressure system and our low pressure system. As we discussed previously in our air cart concept, we can use this for uh, any of our air systems. In the event we can't get our air cart there, the airbag systems and everything we have still has their, their uh, sole regulator system we can use with it. But primarily we can use this air cart, even if the air pressure rear will not reach, we can use the bottle systems, which is what we're going to demonstrate here. So turning the bottle system on, you're going to hear some bells and whistles. Has pressurized our system. We've got pressure from the bottle here. We can now regulate the pressure we want to use for our airbags. We're going to be using our high pressure bag, so it's around 118 PSI. So we're going to get in that ballpark. And here we have our, our lines already connected into the air cart itself. And these lines here simply feed air to the manifolds to our airbag systems. So we're going to start off with our high pressure bag. As you see here, we have the yellow line coming from the air cart going into our, our bag system. And we also have the blue line here, which the, the, the high pressure lines with the high pressure bags are kept with the bag system in the passenger side front compartment. So air is coming in here. We also have on our airbag lines, these, these little petcocks that we can cut off air. So this line here is within line of the airline itself. So it lets us know air is coming in. This is a relief valve, so in the event you give it too much pressure on the air cart, it will pop here prior to causing any damage anywhere else. At this point here, you simple, uh, simply use this just like an a old Atari game. You can pressure up, pressure down, and it feeds air into the air bag. This by no means is a lifting class. You know, every time we lift an inch, crib an inch, Typically, we use two airbags if we're doing a lift and drill. Uh, this is simply demonstrating the hookup and the setup of our airbag systems. In the event we increase this pressure of the bag, we did our lift, now we have to move. We have a couple of options. We can turn off the bag here by doing the petcock and disconnecting the line and it maintains air in the bag. Or, if we need this line, we can turn it off at the bag, the petcock here, and then disconnect the line from the bag here, and the, the bag stays inflated. A general rule is we want to maintain a 25 foot kick zone of safety here, so the, per the preferred route is disconnected from here unless you absolutely need this line. That covers the airbag, uh, the high pressure, uh, with the exception of taking it down. It's going to be a little difficult to show you because we don't have pressure on the bag itself. The preferred option with taking the bag down or lifting or lowering the object that we've lifted is to use the control because as you can see, it's a dead man control. If I'm lowering this bag and I let go, it goes back to the neutral. Um, it's not advisable to do it from the petcock. That's not advisable. Now, when you get the bag down, the load is back on the ground. If you want to do this to bleed out the remaining air in the bag, it's fine, but don't use this option to, to lower the load down. That concludes the airbag setup demonstration. We're going to move over to our low pressure bag. The initial setup is, 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 is identical to the high pressure. You've got the, the line coming here from the air cart itself, and it's, pressure, it's going to a manifold. Manifold here goes and it hooks into our low pressure bag. These connectors are a little bit different in that they, they, twist, they, they twist separately and also have a safety collar that you have to screw down to lock them in place. So again, definitely put your hands on, on these where these are or twist on and screw screw down uh, connectors versus your simple push in 
and clip-in connectors. With everything hooked in to simply inflate the low pressure bag, you simply just open up the manifold lever and it allows air in. It does not have a dead man control. The reason for that is a low pressure system. We're operating around a seven or eight PSI uh, for this. So it's not, we're able to lift, we're able to lift objects higher, but the objects have to weigh less. Where the high pressure bag, it can lift heavier objects, but a limited height. And we do have uh, written, I, I failed to mention this, if you look on a high pressure bag, it does have it written on the side. That is a 21 ton bag that goes up 11 inches. So that, that bag there will lift 21 tons, one inch, and will support about 10 tons at 11 inches. This low pressure bag, its limitations is also read on, written on the bag itself. Maximum lift is uh, 7,300 pounds or almost 7,400 pounds. It can go up to 24 inches operating pressures at 7.25 PSI. If you forget any of that, again, it's written here, but it's also on our gauges here. But as we are inflating the low pressure bag, you'll see this needle. It should always stay in the green. Obviously, not having a pressure on the bag itself. Not having pressure on the bag itself is a little difficult to demonstrate the pressure on, on the gauge. This also has its own um, kick out or its own relief valve here in the, in the event we do overpressurize or, or exceed its operating pressure, it'll kick out on the bag as well as the manifold itself also has some safety uh, pressure relief valves as well. Taking this down, uh, similar to the high pressure bag, we still want to use the manifold itself a little different here where we have to open up this other side, but prior to opening up, you will simply turn off the air system. <clears throat> Bleed it off. So it lets you know there's no air on the system. At this point here, you'll simply open up the open side first. That bleeds down the air cart. As you heard the bells and whistle as a low pressure. And at this point, you'll simply open up the bag side and it allows air to come out. Again, there's no pressure on the bag itself, so it's a little hard to, to demonstrate. But obviously having this open and that open is allowing air to escape. Like the high pressure bag, with the low pressure bag, lift an inch, crib an inch. Again, this is not an, an overall lifting class. As with all the other technical rescue equipment, again, put your hands on it, get familiarized with it. Uh, you know, even the setup processes makes those calls and incidents go a whole lot smoother. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact me or the shift personnel and we'll point you in the right direction.